P future millionaire. I decided to come back on a little bit early this uh, before this afternoon. I wanted to do another update as XRP crushes XRP holders hopes of a parabolic spike here as we just had a 3.7 million uh, sell volume. We fell about 7% on this candle and it came down to about almost 63 and some change. We've held the 633 level, but this is earlier we talked about how it could be possibly putting in a long leg doji and we didn't want to see it come below 663. Unfortunately, Bitcoin reversed very quickly. And as crypto, I always talk about, we don't like to buy on the pushes up. We like to buy before the pumps and we like to put ourselves in place near the 2020 uptrend because there's a lot of manipulation in crypto. Even on days like today where it looked like it could have bounced off of Bitcoin's nice rally, you see what ends up happening and Bitcoin falls some 1500 points in a matter of minutes. XRP reversed seven and a half percent in a matter of minutes this is why it's so important to stay emotionless and yeah we would have hoped for a move up but now we have to look at it from a weekly time frame and see if we have a the ability to continue to push out after this week or if this could be the signs of something more i'm xrp future millionaire please make sure to hit that like button as it will help more and more people reach this community and i'll keep you updated on the fly even if we think we could be looking at something when we get some obvious manipulation within and we get some cell candles and cell volume i have to report on it accurately let's get into the charts ladies and gentlemen good morning 11 16 a.m eastern standard time on this thursday november 9 2023 i'm xrp future millionaire and i reside in the great state of michigan and what we've done today we talked yesterday about the fact that if we came through 663 and we didn't want to, we'd have to retest the rising channel at 632. We had not done it yet after the breakout. And it's not always, but oftentimes you retest. But I did not want to come down here because then you always have the ability to put in that M topping reversal. And then if you come back up and get a rejection at 6637 and then uniformly break down to 632 again and reject, that could be an M topping reversal. We don't want to see that. But that's what we're looking at right now. We're getting that first retest on this rising channel breakout now and we're going to see if this can hold true xrp right now at a a pretty massive sell candle as let me get back into the chart xrp is down to 6493 right now but we can see in the 30 minute time frame we had a better than right now and there's still 12 minutes left on this candle it's been 5.25 million on this sell candle so we'll say in the last 15 minutes we had a 3.8, 1.5, yeah. So in this 30 minute candle, it's gonna be approaching 6 million on the sell volume by the time it's all said and done, maybe a tad bit higher. So now it's, do we hold the 633 on the rising channel support after the breakout retest? Or is this the start of a reversal as Bitcoins come unglued? We've gotten the four hourly, the retest, the daily time frame. These still don't look extremely bearish. These could be that liquidity grab we've talked about, but we have to be very, very careful and we'll be very optimistic along the way. So let's watch. If 633 is lost, that's a very bearish sign because then you're back within the rising channel. Now our goal is to get back above 663 and try not to get rejected there on this retest back up if and when it happens. And for Bitcoin, it's still up 2.7%. If you just woke up from a snooze and it says up, you know, 600 and... They're 986 points. You're like, wow, this is a nice start to the day. However, we're down about 1,200 points from the top. So now we're looking to see, can Bitcoin continue to play off of an inverted hammer? And XRP is at 65 cents now as it slowly ekes its way back up. Nice liquidity flush for anybody who's leverage trading. Whether you're going long or short, it's just tearing everybody apart today. So I like the spot trade. And with the weekly time frame, we're still looking fine. That weekly golden cross is, or weekly um, inverted hammer candle is well within range. It's well within play. But now we have to see if we have another drop to come or if this was a liquidity flush. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. Please make sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel, whether it goes up or down. I'll be here for you.